Ark Survival Evolved, a game I've enjoyed for a long time over a variety of different maps and scenarios. This sandbox open world is perhaps the greatest survival game I've ever played, and from solo in its core DLC to completing this game with friends, I've pretty much done it all. But there is still one challenge that's pretty much eluded me up until now, and that's the achievement Survivor of the Center. First introduced as a custom map that eventually went on to be the first free DLC wildcard released, consisting of multiple different regions, with its most notable feature being a colossal floating island. As before, our challenge is to acquire all artifacts and tame an army worthy of defeating the center map guardians. As with all my previous series, we'll be doing this largely unmodded. I'm only taking the awesome spyglass and a stack mod because at this point, I've suffered playing Vanilla Ark enough. And this time around, I'll be joined by a few members of the complete crew. But this is a strictly solo effort. Ark is definitely more fun with others, and playing on such a big server by myself would be extremely lonely. So at some point, we will meet up for some fun and shenanigans, but there's strictly no trading allowed. Each member must figure out their own way to beat this map, just like I will. So with that being said, Let's begin our journey to complete the center. Hello and welcome to the beginning of a new challenge where we're going to be taking on the center map. And oh, I do really enjoy Ark Survival Evolved when it's just level one and you're just getting started. For me, this game really shines in its primitive form. I mean, it's all very well getting all of the tech and completing the game, but Ark for me is one of them games that's just great off the bat. So first thing we need to do is punch a few trees and get some basics together. So we are playing on a server this time round. That's going to make things easier when it comes to the breeding. And I should have turned off these skins actually when we started the game. I always forget to do that, but uh, let's just dump these on the floor. So and now I am playing on a live server, so like I say, it's going to make a few things easier. I've got a few members of the complete crew also taking part in this challenge, and I have no doubt that they're going to beat me at doing this as well, because they do have some more time than I do to be able to do this. And in between episodes, I'm also going to be editing and working at the same time. But I do think that I'm going to be able to put more content out, being that this is on a live server. I'm going to be able to do the late game, breeding of dinosaurs a little bit easier, making vegetables and just having things run in the background while I'm not online is just going to make this a little bit easier. And of course, I have got the stack mod and we've got the awesome spyglass, so they are two essentials if you ask me. I don't like to mod the game too much, but having the awesome spyglass and the stack mod just makes this much more fun i think to play but at the end of the day arc is a big sandbox and you play how you like to play but i think we've got a lightly vanilla style map here let's just get our hatchet and a spear and this is still going to be an interesting challenge and i think this time around we're going to pry do this without doing it with T-Rex. Let's see what other combinations of creatures we can come up with to beat the island bosses. I have no doubt that I'll probably do some T-Rexes, but there are plenty of creatures that we can use to take on the bosses, and I guess it's just going to see what saddles we find or what good stats we come across when it comes to creatures that we find. But let's get some basics together. Okay, so I'm pretty sure where I am on the map, this little tiny set of ruins here will do just for now. We can put a storage box down and a sleeping bag just to give us a little bit of a start. Yeah, it's a nice area. Okay, so we've got a sleeping bag. And I'm just getting a few narco berries together. Just got some food on the go. So I want to be shifting on to the back of this place here. We're actually going to go around the outside of the beach. Now, I was debating, should I build a boat? But I kind of feel like I always do that. So perhaps we'll try and tame a parasaur or something to shift on from this position and work my way around to the place where I want to set up a base. Now, 
I haven't got any narco arrows yet. We need to get to level 21 before we can create some narco arrows. But if I get some stuff together here, perhaps we'll try using the slingshot or the club to knock something out. Just going to get a few more narco berries together. And I've seen some parasaurs skulking around here. So I might knock out a parasaur. At the very least, it's going to help me get some narcotics together. And I'm just going to kill a few more of these dodos to get some more hide. Always remember, it's the hatchet for hide. Okay, I just need to put a foundation down so I can put a mortal and pestle down. And I'll get rid of all of this stuff eventually. It's just to give us a start. Okay, let's get some narcotics on the go. That'll also give us a few points. I'm just spoiling some meat here. And... Although I can't make any narcotic arrows at the moment. We may as well at least get some levels for crafting this stuff up. The sooner we get to level 21, the better. I'll make a club as well because I've never really used a club to knock anything out. I usually use a club to go penguin hunting in the early stages. But let's see what, how well this slingshot holds up. There was a few parasaurs down on the beach. Okay, so there's this level 61. I think this was a level 60 parasaur, this tech one. Yeah, um, see what level this one is. I'm gonna level 60, I'll probably end up killing it before I knock it out. Okay, a level 100. That might work. So let's give it a go. Let's try and get round to its face and see if we can knock it out. So we've got the numbers switched on this time, so you can see how much torpor damage I'm doing. And obviously for a parasaur, I need to be hitting it in the face. Oh, okay. That's the bowler gone. Need to bowler it again. See? Oh, there's a cooldown on the bowler, so you couldn't just bowler it straight away. Hopefully it just turns around and I can just capture it again. Okay. Now the question is, am I going to kill this before I knock it out? Just try and hit it in the center of the face. I'm getting 28 points a tick there. And, oh, well, we've managed to knock it out. Almost killed it, but... Stick some medros on it. I've got something to be able to gather some berries on. And, I guess... Give the Parasaur a try. Well, we managed to tame it with no problems. I'm not going to give it a name because I'm pretty sure it's just a, a dead man walking, to be honest. But it'll help us get some berries. Just need to make a saddle. I've got plenty of hide. And we'll grab some narcos with it. Okay, so I'm just spoiling some meat and let's get a saddle on this guy. And I'll grab a few more narcotics before I think we'll shift on. And my god, these things are slow. And, well, looks like we've got an Alpha Raptor over there. So I definitely want to avoid that. Got no chance against that thing at the moment. Just get some berries before we shift on. Okay, now how's that Alpha Raptor shifted? Got a Lystro here, so... Uh, I think it's gone down the beach by the looks of it. So we've got the night time closing in and I think I'm going to risk it for a chocolate biscuit and we're going to shift on from this position. Now, I'm probably going to regret this because this is the Parasaur's top speed and yeah, I mean, where's that Alpha Raptor? The last thing I want to do is run in that direction. But yeah, where have you gone? It's got to be around here somewhere. I think it went down the beach somewhere. Uh, yeah, there it is on the beach. Let's just give that a wide berth. But yeah, as you can see, this thing's slower than an asthmatic hippo. But I'm just going to hug the coastline and make our way round. Hey! Yeah, this is the vehicle's top speed. It's almost walking pace. I think you can outrun this. So... There's a pretty significant landmark here. The Skull Cave. On the top of there, there's quite a lot of metal and obsidian, but also some 
nasty stuff hanging around that area as well, but it's a nice landmark and it's facing in the direction that I want to go. Okay, so just up on top of that cliff there is some crystal and some metal and more often than not there's a few carnivores around there so this might be a mistake heading up this way but if I can get a spyglass that'd be great okay so it looks pretty clear for the time being plenty of crystal a little bit of metal as well but I think we're okay to dismount and grab some crystal here give it a try don't get much back with the primitive tools okay so let's make ourselves a spyglass so like I said that's one of the mods that we've got in here the other mod is the stack mod the awesome spyglass is one of them that I can't really live without now okay so let's just put a little bit of metal on you as well and shove this across Okay. Let's shove a torch on the back here so we get a little bit more light. So I'm going to continue round and hug the coastline. Okay, so that's the swamp and I want to get on the opposite side of the swamp so this is the bit of the journey that we may end up regretting but we'll, we'll just see. I didn't realise how slow the parasaur was. Let's just go up these stairs around here. So far, so good. And, of course, if we go down into the swamp, I don't think we're going to be able to make it. Hopefully, we can just sort of skirt around the edge and we don't get caught. Mm, do I jump down there or... Mm, I guess we'll stay up on the cliff. Let's just carefully make our way around I really have forgot how slow these things are they're pretty useless to be honest but I think I'd be faster running to be honest <laughs> okay now onwards we go okay saber tooths that way let's just avoid them come down here towards us. oh no another saber Oh, more, they're everywhere, they're everywhere. Okay, this is not good. Come on, let me out, let me out, let me out. Oh, I can't get out, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Okay, okay, right, let's just hug the cliff and hopefully they fall off. Let's see if we can get around the back of this rock here. And um, no, I can hear him, they're still chasing me. Ah, oh, how did these things ever survive? I mean, they're so slow. Raptors up ahead. Ah, oh, yeah, this this is not good. Not good at all. So, we've got bloody Carno as well. Oh, I'm just going to have to duck, dive, dodge, weave between these trees. Hopefully the sabers get hung up on a few of them. Uh, okay, keep them going, keep them going. Oh, it's just, yeah, it's just all sorts of badness this way. Come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Let's keep on running. I think it's good, they're just so close to us on our heels here. Just trying to get them to get stuck on the trees. Just heading for these ruins up the front here. We're not far from where I wanted to get. Can we, no, this, they're just slowly on our heels. I mean, we're almost dead here. Or the Parasaur is. I can't turn around to have a look. I don't know if we've lost one or if there's still two on our tail. Oh, there's definitely one though. Um, okay. Oh, don't take a dump right there. Oh, you stupid Parasaur. Right. If we go in between the Bronto's legs, they'll hit the Bronto as well. There you go. There you go. You've angered the Bronto now. There you go. Hopefully, 
they're attacking the Bonto because look at this. Hey, Mop. Shh. Stop that. Sorry. It's <laughs> you would do that at a critical time. <laughs> the dog Mop there. Um, right, I mean, we're like one hit away. I think we've lost. Oh, no. That's it. We're dead. We're dead. Raptor. And oh, I've got nowhere to go. Um, we're, we're dead. We're dead. Um, can we run away though? Uh, no. <laughs> no, not from a 130. We can't. Right, I'm blaming you, Mop. Well, hang on a minute. <laughs> well, this is actually where I wanted to go. Um, I... <laughs> We spawned in the place that I wanted to set up. So, I actually did a video on building some castle walls quite a while back. And this is the area where I built in. And there's plenty of flat surface along these ruins. And I guess, as you can see in here, that we've got this area here that's completely flat. It'll be good for breeding some dinos. Now, I do want to do some building. And I was thinking about just out on this surface doing some sort of house or something I have got an idea for this area and we're high up we should be out of the way from predators a couple of compies here and I haven't got anything to whack them with so now this is just near one of the cave entrances I forget which artifact cave it is but just inside one of these ruins is a way that you can dive down into one of the caves but so, well, that's a stroke of luck. We've actually spawned where I wanted to set up. Um, now, I don't think there's any point in going back for our stuff. So, I think we'll cut our losses and start again. But we've, we've not totally lost here. I mean, we're not far off hitting level 21. And at level 21, we can make narcotic arrows. So, I guess we need to punch some trees again. Um, but yeah, that's the Parasaur. I can see why I usually <laughs> build a boat. But whenever we're on a map with ocean, I always feel like I build a boat. So I want to try something different. Okay, so managed to make up some narcotic arrows and we'll get some more narc on the go here. Finally managed to get to level 21. And I'm going to be able to knock out something a little bit better. So I think we'll go for one of the trikes that are along the beach. At least with a trike, I'm going to be able to get arrows. And I don't want to drop fiber on the floor. And a trike can actually defend itself. So if we can drop a half decent trike, that might be a much better start than the parasaur. And we just want to make a... Well, we want to make a forge and a smithy. And there's a few river rocks laying around here, so I should be able to get enough metal together. In fact, I might have enough metal already to make the smithy up. Okay. Oh, raptor. Let's just get to the high ground. Don't think I'm going to bother taming it. Oh, just get out of the way. Bloody itchy as well. Everything. Um, okay, it's just underneath us, we're alright. Now, I could knock it out and tame it, but again, they're pretty useless. Oh, stealing my arrows, damn ick, these things, the flying rats. Almost as bad as Pegos. I say almost. As bad as Pegos. <laughs> just eat something because we're getting quite hungry here. So yeah, I'm just going to take this raptor out. I'd actually prefer the hide. And... I mean, they can be useful. I did get started with a pack of raptors on Aberration. They came in quite useful. But... This one's already getting bloody, so it can't be a very high level. It's already running. So we'll just use it for hide right now. Hide is the one thing that I need a little bit more of. 
And if we're going to tame a trike, I'm going to need some more hide anyway to make it saddle. Come on, come back. You know you're going to come back. Here we go. This. Come on, James. Okay, let's just buy that. Okay. Yeah, this one's definitely, yeah, it was only level 20. Not worth taming at all. It's not as if it can get us any berries and it wouldn't be very good for getting us much in the way of meat or hide. Probably good enough to take on a couple of dodos with before it dies. So, yeah, just up the top of them steps was where I did that castle build. And I have built in this area before, so I did have a thing. Um, let's get some more hide off this thing. Blinded me. Get my arrows back. But I did have a long think about where I want to set up for this series and this place is pretty central and there's loads and loads of ruins on the center map and I figured I wanted to kind of utilize them in my build. And we got a trike here, so what level are you? Level 95, so I think that'll do. Certainly going to be a little bit better than the parasaur. Come on, that hit. Oh. Well, it hit late. <laughs> Just get up these steps and try and get the high ground. So now the problem is with trikes is you don't want to hit them in the face. You need to hit them anywhere else on the body. And as you can see there, we've got a 20, a 15. Much more useful when you have the numbers on, but... Usually I like to keep things a little bit more cinematic for the playthroughs, but I guess, you know, as you can see when you've got the numbers, you can see how much torpor damage you're doing. And no, no, come on, you can make it, you can jump this. There you go. Just get to the high ground. So yeah, you just want to shoot them anywhere other than the face. Even in the foot, but as you can see there, we've just got a tick of two just for hitting it in the head there so it's not really any good hitting a trike in the face not too hard to tame it's just as you can see you need to target them in a better place than their, their heads okay this torpor running it can't have much more to go hopefully it hasn't got much more to go because I've only got 20 odd arrows left Oh, there you go. It's down. Okay. Well, our second tame of the day. And this should be a lot more useful. And I'm just going to tame it on Mejo's. But that'll, that'll get us started. And we'll be able to get some more narcotics made up. And sort of plan for today was to get our foothold on the map. I need to get that crystal, get some metal tools together. And I think we'll be able to do it. Certainly getting the levels now. Managed to get level 32. Okay, so I'm just going to smash up some of these round river rocks. We will get a little bit of metal back from this. And now I've got a forge up and running. Might be able to get enough metal together just to be able to make some primitive tools. Well, not much, but we'll utilize what we can get. And as you can see, primitive tools, they really don't last very long. So now Tranodon is definitely something I need to tame. We're quite close to some crystal just up the back there, but it's high up. But a level 15 won't even lift us up off the ground, so that's no good. So I managed to get enough metal together to be able to make a smithy and I should be able to make a few basic tools. Probably got enough to make a crossbow as well now. So let's just get another foundation down so I can just put a, a smithy down temporarily. And we can craft some better tools. Need some thatch. So even though it feels like you get to start again when we lost our parasaur. It's not actually the case. You're always doing something to get levels. And let's say it's not until you hit level 21 and beyond that you can really do much in this game. 
Perhaps if we come across a nice moss chops or something, we might have been able to use that. That would have probably been more use, but again, it's just the luck of the draw as to what you come across. So we've managed to get a smithy, and I think I should have enough metal when that's smelted just to be able to make a basic set of tools. There we go, so we've got a hatchet pickup. Yeah, we'll be able to get enough together to be able to make some basics here. Might even be able to get a crossbow as well. So let's just learn the pike and the crossbow. So we're well on our way now to making a full set of basic tools here. And I feel we're going to be relatively safe up here, even if I don't block it off. Shouldn't really get any creatures messing about with us here. They've got to go up the steps to get to us. So let's just get a saddle on our trike. Gonna pump some mini damage. Just spoiling some meat up so we can get some more narcotic on the go. And hopefully we can find a reasonable flyer. Something better than that level 15 down there. So we have got XP, it's just on times one, and I know the stack mod's going to allow us to get a few levels a lot quicker, but our wildcard really have upped the XP, so we can't turn it down anymore, it just seems to come so quickly now. And what level are you? Oh, 135, well, that'll do for our first one, that's going to be good enough to get us off the ground. I need to be careful because up towards them Brontos I saw another Alpha Raptor. There we go. This bow hits harder. Doesn't really matter if we hit this in the head. And I don't know why they've never fixed that. That animation happens sometimes. You have to put your weapon away. It just doesn't seem to reload straight away. There we go. That's out. So I want to go and grab some fish. You let me have my arrows back? No, not quite. Okay, never mind. Just, last thing I want is that raptor coming up there, but let's just go and grab some fish. Get this tamed. Uh, see the camp. That will do. And then comes the piranhas. Never far behind, are they? Ooh. Come on then. Probably best using a pike. But yeah, now they've scarpered. Okay, I'll leave it. I've got enough fish to be able to tame this Tranodon out. I can't see where that raptor went. It was an alpha raptor just over in the distance, but seems to have moved on. So. Because Tranodons are a pescatarian, so fish is their preferred food. We're certainly not in a position to be able to do kibble yet, but that'll do. It's just a start. I just need to get some crystal. Well, I love it when a plan comes together. I needed some chitin and keratin to be able to make a Tranodon saddle. And I don't want to hit it. I just want to harvest it with... I think... The hatchet should get us more cotton. It's always the pickaxe for me. And 75 is what we needed. I think I just got 77 there, so we've just managed to get enough shit in, or shit in, I don't know whichever you, you call it, together to be able to make our saddle. I think the RG and Tranodon saddle, you can make them in your inventory. So yes, perfect. Well, we've managed to get our Tyrannodon and our Trike tamed up, so I'm going to take this opportunity to thank my patrons for your continued support. And Sheikah, we're naming you after the Trike. And Spidey Paul, we're naming you after the Tyrannodon. So thank you very much, everybody who continues to support me on Patreon. It really is a huge help. So let's just give you a little bit more weight, Spidey Paul. And I just want to head out just behind us is some crystal so we can actually get a spyglass on the go. So let's just shove our torch on our creature. If you're wondering how you do that, you need to shove the torch into the creature's inventory and then you bring it across and just put it on the saddle and yeah, it just gives you a little light. It's really handy in the caves. I think it gives a nice effect. And 
on this map in particular, I always find it looks beautiful at night. The moonlight really does shine a lot. And then there's these fireflies as well, which was an introduction from the moderates themselves. And it really does add just this little bit of ambient light. So there we go. We've managed to get our spyglasses, enough crystal and metal up here for days. Plenty of metal and crystal spread out just behind us. So that's going to be useful later on. Of course, we need to be able to get ourselves an Anki and an Argent. And we'll be doing all of that stuff in the next episode. I feel this episode's already getting on for a long one. Okay, just want to put a feeding trough down. Make sure these guys are going to be fed while we're away. Get some fish and some meat and some more berries in there. Need to be able to look after them. But yeah, I think we're going to be able to wrap things up here. And yeah, look at that, another Tyrannodon's just made it our way in here. Because this episode has got on a little bit, but in the next episode we'll definitely be going after another Argent or something. It's going to be, we've got everything we need to get started and, oh, hang on a minute. That's a, that's a 150. And <laughs> it's got stuck in the, co well, I mean, we've got to take it. We've got to take it. It's a free max level Pteranodon. You just stay in the corner there. Ah, oh, um... I was going to call things a day there, but we can't really call things a day now, can we? I mean, not when a max level creature just comes in as a freebie. And it's a female. I mean, we got Spidey Paul's a male. Um, right, right. Uh, we haven't got kibble, but we can try and get some prime fish meat. In fact, there's loads of Lethictus on this map. I'm going to see if I can find a Lethictus and we can just grab some prime meat off it. Um, let's just try out towards the swamp area. Okay. Um, and hey, what do you know? What do you know? Oh, a nice beached whale, almost. So yeah, probably a trick that most people don't actually realise is you can just go up to Alethictus. They are passive, they just, if you're on a boat, they just want to sink your boats, but they don't actually attack you. And uh, you can collect prime fish meat from them. You just walk up to them like so. There you go. It's on a 10 minute cooldown. And there we go. 50 prime fish meat. Fantastic. So, in theory... We could end up with a really good tame here. Let's get back and just give you a little bit of health, Spidey. We might be on version 2 of Spidey before you even know it. Right, let's get back to base. And uh, see what stats this bird tames out with. Okay. So it should be pretty hungry now. And, well, I mean, check that out. It's got 32 wild points in melee, so it's it's got the potential. It's It's got the potential for something good. And I know we haven't got kibble, but prime fish meat is, is going to be as good as, or as close to. So all we can do is try... There we go. So, that, yeah, 73 levels, 80 percent. We're, we're probably going to lose maybe one or two levels on this for not having kibble, but I think it was definitely worthwhile going to find some fish meat for this. Okay, here we go. So, big question is, what did we get in the end? Oh, 46 points on melee damage, 42 points in stamina. Straight off the bat, we've got... A very capable breeding Tranodon here and well I mean I don't want to take it out and risk it we've got a male and a female so let's just let's just breed ourselves a Tranodon let's get let's get an imprinted Tranodon we probably won't be able to get a full imprint on it because I, I don't have any kibble I don't have any 
jerky or anything, but you never know. Well, I'm sure episode one is getting on for a long one, but I'm going to take this opportunity to do some breeding. Thank you to everybody who's managed to make it this far into this episode. I know this episode's probably got on for quite a long one, but I couldn't help myself. We've now got Spidey Pool version 2. You didn't get the stamina, but that's okay. You did manage to get a full imprint, and that saves me having to risk taking out that potential good breeder. And we managed to do all of that without any cryopods and all it wanted was walks and cuddles. So that's good by me and we've got something to be able to get ourselves started. So thanks for everybody who managed to hang in on this one even though it's a longer episode. Let me know in the comments what you're for and if you're excited for more from myself. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.